Good afternoon class. Before we proceed to our topic, uh, the overview about the special crime investigation, it is it deals with the study of special techniques uh, involving crimes against person, property, and other related offenses. This course focuses on the application of medical science for investigation with emphasize the human anatomy and terminologies in medical legal aspects of physical injuries. The physical evidence is needed for providing the commission of the crime in court. Uh, what is criminal investigation? It is the collection of facts in order to accomplish the threefold aims. The threefold aims are to identify the guilty party, to locate the guilty party, and to provide evidence of his guilt. Uh, if we can accomplish the triple aims given by criminal investigation, we will surely, surely uh, solve the crime. Uh, there was a theory by Wilmer that if criminal investigation process resembles battles between Pol uh, police on perpetrator over crime related information. If there is a crime incident, criminals or offenders leave a mark or a sign or information of various sorts like fingerprints, eyewitness, description, murder, weapon, and etc. This is needed by the police officer which he will collect and through investigation process of activities or activities that may lead to the identification of the suspect. On the other hand, if the perpetrator minimizes the amount of information for the police to collect, the police may unable to recognize the information left behind by the perp perpetrator and the perpetrator will not be apprehended. The, therefore, the perpetrator will win the battle. In the next, further, if the police will able to collect significant information and or numbers from the perpetrator, then it will lead to the discovery and identification of the suspect. The police will win the battle. Take note, criminal investigation can be understood as a process, an art, and as a, and as a science. Criminal investigation as a science is a science because there is a systematic method of inquiry that preliminary applies scientific knowledge principles and methodologies in order to discover, identify, collect, and process facts and evidence to promote justice. So note, in investigating crime, there are crime classified as special because of the complexity of the nature that requires the application of legal medicine and requires the additional qualification with highly specialized trainings to be able to solve the crime. It special crime investigation also concentrates more on the physical evidence through collection, handling and identification and preservation in accordance with the coordination with crime laboratory. The investigation also involves the relationship between the prober in the field and the crime laboratory technician. They work together as a team reaching to teach other and extending one another theory and findings. They must work impatiently and thoroughly in solving crime from their investigative discoveries. Take note that criminal justice system of our country, especially the court, it realized more on the physical evidence rather than extrajudicial confession. What is a special crime investigation? This refers to the investigation of cases that are unique and often require the application of legal medicine and requires a special training to fully understand their broad significance that emphasize its own physical rather than extrajudicial confession. Just like I said, the court does not recognize judicial confession rather it recognizes physical evidence
To know more and understand further the discussion, there are some technical terms that we need to define. So, number one is law. Law is a rule of conduct just obligatory laid by the legitimate power for common observance and benefits. Take note that the law is characterized in three. Number one is that the, the law is a rule of conduct, meaning the law must be regulated our act of our uh, uh, the law must be regulated we must be regulated by by our by our actions and behaviors second characteristics is laid by legitimate power or dictates by legitimate power meaning the law making bodies in our country has the legitimate power to create ro rule of law that which we must follow because it is regulated the third characteristics it must be compulsory and obligatory. Forms of law. Number one is written or statutory law. In Latin term, list scripta. It is composed of laws which are produced by the country's legislation and which are defined, codified, and incorporated by lawmaking body. Example is the Philippines. Uh, the law making body in other are the in the Philippines are the legislative branch. The Philippine law has main source is the 1987 constitution. It is also said that it is the mother of all law. It is considered uh, uh, the beginning of our law laws. It is also includes the state. Statues laws, which are acts of Congress, municipal charters, and etc. For, take note in the Philippine law, it is also includes the treaty, convention, and judicial decision as considered to be written or statutory law. Second is unwritten or common laws in Latin term, less non scripta. It is composed of unwritten laws based on immemorial custom and usage sometimes referred to as case law, common law, jurisprudence, or customary law. Common law is not acceptable in our country. Take note of that class. When we say unwritten and common law, we, use, we are referring to the customary law based on the immemorial customs and usage. One example are the laws of England. Technical definition forensic. It defines at it denotes anything belonging to the court of law or used in court or legal proceeding or something fitted for legal or public argumentation. When we say forensic and relating to the application of methods and techniques used in investigation process we called it forensic medicine it is a science and art dealing with the prevention cure and elevation of disease it is the part of science and art restoring and preserving health number four legal it pertains to law arising out by virtue or or included in law refers to anything comfortable to the letters or rules of law that is administered by the court. Number five is jurisprudence. Jurisprudence is a science of giving wise interpretation of law and making just application of them to all cases as they arise. Judicial decision applying or interpreting the laws shall form part of the Philippine jurisprudence. Remember that jurisprudence it is a knowledge or a wise interpretation when we say again when we say jurisprudence it is having a knowledge of law that will be our first topic for today and the next topic uh, just wait and I will send you a you, uh, next video on our online class. Thank you and God bless.